wash your blood. And I want your soul. And I want them both right now. Yo, what's up, everybody? So, it is three something in the morning. You know, it's like it's early now. Yeah. It's early in the morning. I woke up. I woke up because I saw saw flashlights in the hallway, but it was a freaking TV in the living room. And yeah, so that woke me up. I heard a bunch of banging around and I woke up and I was half asleep and I just saw flashing lights and I thought it was somebody walking around in here. So I fucking, I sat up real fast because like, where I come from, you hear banging around and see flashing lights, it's about to be on, you know what I mean? So I decided that I got up real slow, walked around the house and realized it was just this man over here playing his game. Which is fine. You know, whatever. It's Saturday, I think. No, no Saturday. It's no. Saturday now. So, it's the weekend. It's Thanksgiving break. I'm not mad at the kid. You know what I mean? He's cool. And, um, but anyway, before I get into this, I want you to go ahead and click that thumbs up button. Share me out. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And click the bell for notifications. Let's get into it. Yeah, but if I... So... I think he's... What? Act, Activision account setting, huh? Huh? What are you doing with Activision? Oh, if you uh, do the verification thing on Call of Duty, you get some shit. Well, tell us... So, apparently, if you got Call of Duty Modern Warfare, check it out, because you can do some stuff. With your Activision account, if you verify it, you get um, some cool yeah, stuff. That, yeah. So, telling the people. I know. Telling y'all how that computer screen, phone screen, tablet screen, iPads. Anyway, so I was going, I got curious. And I was going through all, all my catalog of videos, and there's a lot of videos. I don't have very many videos set to private, you know. But, um, you know, I noticed a difference in me over the years, you know, and, uh, it's just the fact that, like, I, um, things changed a lot over the years, you know, but it's just the fact that I got uglier, you know, but it's just the fact that the way I played guitar, the way I, 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 used to laugh and talk and stuff. It's like, I slowly watched basically myself go through depression, you know. And I didn't watch all the videos. I just watched certain ones and just looked at thumbnails, you know, and, you know, laughed about things that I remember about each video. And it's like, I hate the fact that I'm depressed. I don't know why, you know. That stroke I had back in January, if y'all follow me and remember that I had a stroke, it, um, it didn't do me very nice. You know, like my eyes still look weird and off-center, you know. My eyebrows look weird to me, you know. Because I smile, I probably still have that Bell's palsy stuff, but it's pretty much over with, I believe. But still, you know, I, I need to try to get back into where I was to where I think I like overloaded myself with like uh with stuff you know like crap on my mind or let things get to me you know what I mean and like laundry see I got a whole amount of laundry I gotta fold tomorrow or today when I get up you know and it's like I feel like I'm letting I'm letting uh depression eat at me you know and at first, it was, like, on the inside. And now it's, like, I can see it on the outside kind of thing. Little things, you know. So, it's, like, I could, I'm trying. I'm trying, you know. Um, I think Monday or Tuesday, probably Monday, because, you know, 
what a better day to do things on a Monday. I was going to call my doctor. And this is a note for you, Mr. Man. I'm going to call you doctor on Monday. And I'm going to talk to her about getting some medicine about, getting back on medicine because I took myself off my bipolar medicine, which is like unheard of. But I wanted to try to use my coping skills because the doctor told me not to rely solely on my medicine and learn how to use my coping skills. And I'm 38. And I'm like, I can do this. And I did. I've been doing great. You know what I mean? Like, I don't get angry very often. I don't yell. Um, I don't fly off the handle. I've learned to cope with a lot of things that I wouldn't have been able to cope with over the years as a younger man. You know what I mean? Like, I've learned not to do certain things, you know, and like drugs <clears throat> and shit. And it's like, I don't, I don't do that no more. You know, I, I focus on music and the videos and I play games with Thomas and hang out with my wife and friends, you know what I mean? And it's like, I think I might need to get back on medicine or something. Something for like, cause I'm on anxiety pills, you know, like, Whenever things get too rough, I, you know, I take that every every day. I take my blood pressure stuff every day, you know. But I think it's time I need to go back to the doctor and face that issue. You know what I mean? And I'm just tired of dealing with it. So, but it's like three o'clock in the morning, and as you can see, I have my glasses. I'm pretty much in what I sleep in. You know what I mean? So it's like whatever. You know, but yeah, I just, I don't know, I just had that on my mind. I've just been depressed lately, you know. Maybe a lot. My wife's uncle died today, or yesterday now, too, you know, it's like, I had a bipolar moment, and I, and I went pawn my guitar amp, which I shouldn't have ever done, but I did. And that's coming out Tuesday, so... I gotta spend money that I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have had to spend, but I did anyway. You know, but it's all right. You know, things happen. But I just, like I said, her uncle died, and I didn't have any money to get food or anything or any kind of thing to help her. You know, I mean, you can. You, I could have used my words and stuff. I did. I used my words to comfort her, and I had people over to help her out. You know, and it's like. But I wanted to take her somewhere or do something with her, you know, to try to show her that. I don't know what I was trying to show her. I just know that I was just trying to let her know, hey, let's go eat. Let's get your mind off stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, I did. You know, we had a pretty good day, I think. Had some hiccups throughout the day, for sure. But got to hang out, you know. Uh... My friend Chief came by. It was good to see you, brother, if you're watching this. It was good to see you today. It was good to see his girlfriend and my friend Teresa. It was good to see you, too. And it was good to see... Actually, it, it was weird to see the other two people. I'm not going to name. You know, it was just weird, you know. And um, but I got to hang out with my son and his uh, significant other today. And that was kind of cool. I got to hang out with the brother, too, of the significant other the other night. And that was cool. They're good kids, you know, but just, they, uh, they knew the lower direction. You know, I try to give it to them the best I can without being an ass. You know, so it's like, but without sounding like I'm too strict or nothing, because I've already been down the dark roads, and I have, like, I want to be their flashlight. I mean, and sometimes it's hard. I feel like the way listens to me, but whatever. Their teens to get over it, you know. But you know, I want to I want to thank everybody that came to the house today. Thank you for being there for my you know my wife. I appreciate it. It meant a lot to me, you know. And it's just it's a hard time right now, you know. And death is something we're never gonna fix. I don't care what anybody thinks we're never gonna fix it, you know. It's just a part of life, you know. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is, you know. And there isn't much we can do about it, you know. But at the same time, it's like... Every day you have to celebrate your life like it's your last day here. Because you don't know what's going to happen. 
you don't know what's going to happen. You know what I mean? So, you just got to live and love and be happy. And not only be happy, be thankful. Because I might feel, I might feel depressed, you know, but you, people should feel thankful for what they have. Uh, because we're not homeless. You have a 4K TV that you're playing video games on. I'm sorry, it's 8K. I don't. I was modest. We have it. Well, without that 8K yeah. TV, I wouldn't have it if it weren't for you. So technically, it's not the chance of the God, it's the chance of finesse. Well, it's the chance that you be thankful that, you know, the lady at the place hooked Daddy up with the TV for a little. This a cheaper. You know, like the it's cheaper. This is more expensive than the. No, 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 no. It's 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 in the no. It's cheaper than what they wanted to give it to me at first because the lady was nice and she told me that it was because it was Black Friday, and the TV that I did had went out on me on Thanksgiving. They felt bad and they hooked me up with another TV. That's cool. You know, and they, and it's like even though they re and they restarted the payments, but it's just because I only made one payment on the other TV and it broke. So it's only like 30 bucks more than I was paying. And right now, I can afford that, you know. I can afford it. And, um, but, you know, I don't like getting into all that because it's a little too personal, you know. So, But just know that, you know, I guess we're thankful. I'm thankful. You know, I'm not I'm very humble. I don't boast about the things that I have. I don't. I don't want to. You know what I mean? It's just it's not... It's never been in me to go, ooh, look what I got. You know what I mean? Wait, like Chief, my friend Chief, he stood in the living room and stared at this TV. And uh, he was all awestruck by it. And I was like, you know, it was kind of cool and funny to watch him do that. But at the same time, it's like, you know, it's like people get excited over a shiny plastic box that looks nice. And that's just the it's thing. It's been your it. whole life you know rubbing I mean? a piece of do you know that you spent your whole life rubbing a piece of glass? Yes. Where's our name? The cell phone. Crazy? The cell phone has become the new worry stone. Hey. You know. Hey. But look, I'm gonna get out of here. It's Where getting early in the morning. Or, um, I don't know. It's on top of the PlayStation. No. But I'm gonna get out of here because early in the morning. I'm either gonna cook breakfast or lay down. I don't know yet. Breakfast, bro. So. I love y'all. Yeah. Thank you for stopping in. Take care of yourself and each other. Take care of yourself and each other. My bad. I keep it brutal.